What's up YouTube, this is Unicorn Attack for Total Wildlife and over here we're playing a replay submission by Costis Forever. Am I pronouncing it right? Yes, it's Costis Forever. And over on the opposition side we have from the Aran clan Nobunaga Oda. He is our 8 silver star and I think Costis is... I don't remember. But yeah, we're playing on the map Daisatsu Bazin. We have over on the right side of uh, the Iran player a workshop and on the left side a farmhouse and this is also the first time I'm watching this replay so it will be um, it will be interesting for me as well over here we have a Waku Raider which is moving forward trying to attack into the light cavalry and it's pretty surprisingly because these Waku Raiders are really uh, really good in melee but before we're watching to that Let's go to pause a moment and let's see the armor composition of both players. We have for Costas Forever, like I said, over on the left side, a Waco Raider. Then we have a Yeri Cavalry, a Yeri Cav, two of them. Uh, one is level 5 with upgrades in the charge and the other one as well on the charge. I don't really if that's cost effective, but he's going for the head up charge of his Yeri Cavalry. Then from the Naginata Tenants, he's carding his left side. On front he has a Naginata Samurai, pretty solid core, both uh, level 1 level 4, 1 rank 5. Uh, then we have on front a Naginata Tendons, behind that 1, 2, 3 Katana Samurai, with all some uh, charge upgrades and some melee upgrades. Then over on the right side again a Naginata Tendons guarding the right flank. His general is a Moral General with a enabled bow, and behind that another Naginata Tendons. Over on the right side we have the farmhouse and nobody's competing the farmhouse. So let's go to slow motion. We have for Ron Nobunaga Oda or something. He has two Nagi attendants on the front, then another Naginata Samurai on the left side, then one two one katana samurai, two of them, both level six, then a Yeri Samurai which is guarding the center, uh, which is in a rank nine, with hold firm. Then a bow warrior monk, good choice on this map, with 200 range. Then his general, which is a moral general, a Naginata attendance guarding the back side, and on the right side again a Naginata samurai. His cavalry component is based of, no, that's not cavalry, a light calf and a fire calf. And over here he has two Naginata attendants, which is now trying to attack these Waco Raiders. I'm not really sure if, he's, if that's a good way to do, but this Waco Raider is recharging. Although these in loose formation still, these Waco Raider will do a devastating vo uh, charge over on these units. Uh, a run player, Nobun Oda, is moving forward with his fire cavalry. I don't really know why he's charging uh, these Waco Raiders with his fire cav, but it seems he's doing a good amount of damage because he only lost three men. And over here, the Waco Raiders already half man down. But there's a good uh, flanking over from Costis. He's moving forward with his cavalry. Oh, but he, over here there are some Nagi tenants, so he can't move forward. But again, he's just moving forward. He's just ignoring these Nagi tenants. Nice charge, but again he has to move back. And now he's, uh, he's doing a counter charge into these light cavalry, which will not hold for long. This fire cave is almost gone. Look at the cavalry for Costa still eager at 45 and 51, and is right now wavering these uh, fire cave and these light cave. The Waco rays are still there but they are wavering at 32 man, man 31 right now and also these Nike tenants are wavering but over here we have already the charge Cost uh, is moving forward he's, char he's charging with his Nike Nether Samurai on front which already already routed the Nike tenants also these Nike tenants guarding the flanks are preventing the Nike Samurai to um, to flank but whoa what a good charge these Katana Samurai just didn't get the better of it and the uh, charge bonus went to Cost uh, forever and made a real gap over here so the general of RAM player Oda is now going into standard fight but it's not looking good uh, especially for uh, the RAM player look at this uh, he must have put on the hold firm ability right now but the cavalry is trying to flank around this side the Nagitanas uh, the Naginata tenants are holding the flanks versus these Naginata samurai pretty well and over on the center it's cracking it's totally gone. Uh, the bow warrior monks are shooting into the general, but uh, the placement of the general is pretty okay, right in the middle of the blob, because the bows can't shoot in a gen, which is right in the middle in the blob. So good position over there. Uh, these uh, bow warrior monks will be totally wasted. And over here we have a good uh, Yeri calf charge. Will it go in the back? Yeah, he will go in the back. Oh no, he's pulling off. I don't know why, but charge at least the general. But already the 
Uh, the units are routed for uh, their ramp play, and look at this Inagi attendants are tanking against these Naginata Samurai. Never seen that before. So the general is being charged over here with some Katana Samurai, which will should be attacking these Naginata Samurai soon, I think. Yeah, he's repositioning, cost us forever, is, and now recharging these Naginata Samurai. Over on the right side, even the right side has totally collapsed. These Waku Raiders are still standing. And the only units which is still standing for uh, the RM player is his general, which is now gone, and these Bowarium monks. Over here, he still has a Naginata Samurai, which is tanking because these are tanks, especially. Uh, but over here, is still a Naginata Samurai, which is now trying to help um, these Katana Samurai. So, this one will be. Uh, this was a very good gameplay by uh, Ghost Forever. I think uh, the RM player Oda was too busy moving on the right side, his uh, unit. Oh, what's happening? Is he uh, leaving the battle? Ah, you can't mean that. Do I have a... Uh... <laughs> oh man, I think uh, the RM player bugged or something, or maybe he he, he drop hacked? Oh no. Well, we can see there was an obvious victory for Costs Forever, and I think the RM player was uh, too much focused over on Scavery over on the right side. But Costas can move on forward with his full army and just had a better charge of it. And again, the, uh, this line of units, well, he just had the better charge of it, and you can see how devastating a, a, a unit charge can be right in the center. Oh, this is really lame. This is really lame. If if it happens, well, I think it is, he didn't uh, mention that to me, Costas Forever did. So let's move forward, maybe uh, we will see what will happen. So all the units are routing for um, the RN player, uh, although you can't see them routing at the moment. So I think, um, or this is a um, replay bug, or this is uh, just a lazy play from the RN player Nobunaga Oda, and that should be lazy. Alright, so I will see you all at the Brazil screen. See you there. So yeah, unfortunate because I had ended the game, uh, I didn't see the uh, unit deployment sta uh, stats and stuff. But uh, it was obvious to see that Costas Forever won this game. Uh, congratulations to him, good re replay submission. I think it's one um, for the point man, uh, shameful dispraise. Um, I really uh, want to have him on the list, or maybe it was some kind of internet bug. You never know. Maybe his internet or his uh, mom just pl uh, put the plug out of the uh, internet and the RM player couldn't play anymore. So we never know the truth about this, but it's pretty uh, strange that exactly when he's losing the game, um, the uh, he dropped. So I can only say it's curious, but we never know for sure. So thank you for the replay submission, a good gameplay, a very good uh, strategy of tactics. You can see a very clear out rush by Costas Forever. Um, well, if you like this, rate, comment, subscribe, uh, all that kind of stuff. And I hope to see you all next time. Thank you all for watching.